The Riverbend Chorus is a group of fun-loving, dynamic singers working in perfect harmony to achieve uh, to advance the barbershop singing tradition. Now there's a chance to camp out and make music with the pros. <laughs> Sherry and Larita are joining us this morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> Sherry, I appreciated your little laugh there at my, my <laughs> wordplay that I was working with. <laughs> to camp out and be with the pros. But first, before we get into this camp that's coming up, let's talk a little bit about the history of the Riverbend Chorus. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Riverbend was uh, chartered back in 1977, and we've been in South Bend that whole time, and we've had, um, we sing out a lot, we compete mm -hmm. in Sweet Adelines. We belong to Sweet Adelines International, yeah. which is an international organization, yes. Let's talk a little bit more about Sweet Adelines. Liridi, can oh. you tell me a little bit about that national organization that you're a part of as it's well? It's actually an international organization. Oh, wow. We have Even choruses better. in um, Europe, in Japan, I believe. Australia, um, New Zealand. Yeah. All over. All, yeah. Over, the all over the place. The majority are in the United States. It's in Canada. And Canada, that's yep. true. And there are a number of different um, regions. We are part of Region 17, which includes some Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. Yeah. Uh, so. Do you ever get to interact with those other courses, or is oh, it mostly absolutely. individual? Absolutely, we have we have educational weekends, which is um, the primary focus of Sweet Adelines mm -hmm. besides before performance and competition. And uh, so we get together usually in a central location for our region. It's usually around either Toledo or Cleveland where we have these events. And get to really meet up with people who yes. share the same passions as yes. you. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about the art of barbershop as well, okay. which is something that I think people know a little bit about it, but it, I mean, there's a lot more to that history, to that tradition. Larita, can you tell me about that? Um, well, it started out as like kind of a folk style. Um, Sherry probably knows more. She has been in the organization <laughs> a lot longer than I have. <laughs> but. Um, I mean, everyone's familiar with men's barbershop. Mm -hmm. The one thing, it's, you know, it's unique in the harmonies that we have. It's of a different style of harmony. We have different parts than a normal four-part a cappella would have. It is to totally a cappella. There's no instrumentation at all. Um, and one thing I like about it is the expression. You know, if you're seeing a choral singing, you're seeing people much more, you know, sta straight. You, there's not, you know, it's, it's focused very much on the music. But for barbershop, it's very performance or oriented. Um, we do a lot of expression, a lot of you know, facial expression, movement. It's just, it's, it makes it a lot more fun for the performers. It looks fun to be a part of it. We're just seeing this video on our screen right mm -hmm. here and the beautiful costumes that you have too. I'm curious about the costumes. Where do those come from? <laughs> um, we have them made. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you making those yourself? Because um, they look not, great. Not usually. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, they're just beautiful. And I mean, seriously, it looks like you guys are having so much fun just really enjoying yourselves mm -hmm. out there. And I'm sure a lot of people would want to be a part of that, to be a part of the community. What about this camp that's coming up? Well, every, several times a year we try to do educational type events where we can invo involve people that aren't part of our chorus that might be interested in joining us at some point in time. Um, this one is a six week camp. We're focusing on different aspects of barbershop music and education about singing. Uh, we have some fun events going on, um, icebreakers and socially ty social type things to get us to know each other and also learn about music as we're doing it. Um, and it's, we're ending up, the, f the last week of the camp is going to be a performance. So we're have inviting awesome. friends and family to come and join us. We meet um, at, on Ironwood in South Bend here at um, the church, and we're going to have it outside, assuming the weather cooperates, and just kind of have a yard, sit on the blankets, you know, lawn chairs, and just have a small performance out there. And what kind of music could people expect from that performance? Oh, we sing... A Quite a bit of contemporary songs, actually, um, depending on what you consider contemporary. I consider <laughs> anything, you know, from the 60s on to be more contemporary. Um, we have uh, Billy Joel songs. We have um, an ABBA song. Oh, great. You know, so. I'll have to hear that one. Yeah. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. So things like Dancing Queen for the longest time. 
Uh, I can't think of any other tunes right now. But everybody's but favorite is. songs, right? Oh yeah, it's something songs that are right. There, there's something for everybody. Yes, absolutely, always. Yes. And so we want to give people all that information so they can be a part of the camp, so that they can join the Riverbend Chorus and learn and sing and grow with you all. So we'll get you that information for the Camp Harmony Tuesdays through August 15th. It's at 6:45 p.m. You can give them a call at 574-703-1655. Visit riverbendchorus.org or check out their Facebook.